Hello, welcome to another episode of Guitar Intervals Unleashed, where we're going to use the Nandy method to learn how to understand your fretboard as numbers or intervals. The distance between any two notes is known as an interval. If you were to play C to C on your B string, starting at the first fret up to the 13th fret, you could see you would hit every single interval. It would be 1, flat 2, 2, flat 3, 3, 4, flat 5, 5, flat 6, 6, flat 7, 7, and then back to your root. That's all 12 notes. This is a helpful way to visualize all the intervals and see them in a linear fashion. But most of the time, you're not going to be playing all in one string. If we viewed all the intervals across our strings, it would look like this. Not as straightforward. But we can clear this up if we just look starting from the root and going across the fretboard in fourths. We get 1, 4, flat 7, flat 3, flat 6, flat 2. If we were to look at just the order of all the scale degrees in fourths, we'll see it goes like this. 1, 4, flat 7, flat 3, flat 6, flat 2, flat 5, 7, 3, 6, 2, 5, 1. One important thing to note here is that the sequence 7, 3, 6, 2, 5 appears twice. Once as flat scale degrees and once as natural ones. This is an important reference point. Because if you know what scale degrees you want to get to, then you'll know how to find them. For example, a major scale has all the natural scale degrees, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, we know that you can arrange them in fourths, and it would look like this. 7, 3, 6, 2, 5, 1, 4. But it's also important to just know how to cross the fretboard. Let's say your root was on the low E string. If you were to just go across the fretboard in fourths, it would look like this. 1, 4, flat 7, and flat 3 would all be on the same fret. And then, from our G to B string, we have to make a half-step adjustment, because the distance from our G to B string is a major third, and not a fourth, which brings us to flat 6 and flat 2. Similarly, if the root was on the high E string, we would have to start here, on the 7. Go 7, 3, 6, 2, all on the same fret. Then make a half-step adjustment from our G to B string, to get to our 5 and 1, 7, 3, 6, 2, 5, 1. In a vacuum, this information isn't extremely useful, you may be thinking. But, as you learn more scales and more chords and understand their relationship to scale degrees, using the fourths as a reference point will make navigating your fretboard extremely easy. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. For more, click on the box in the lower left-hand corner, our little circle of fourths there, to see more content like this. Thank you very much. Make sure to subscribe.